Katia V5 Essential Training for the Sketcher Workbench. The next feature that will be discussed within this video will be the spline. As we can see by default within the sketch tools, we only have the possibility to define the horizontal and the vertical location of the point. But if we take a look at the bottom left screen, we can see that we can select or click the first control point of the spline. So if you already have a profile defined, we can start the spline directly from, from that point. If not, I'm just gonna click once to define the point. And now we can define the other points by continuing to left click on the desired location. We also see that if we're gonna double click, this will end the spline. So a double click will end that spline. But we can also close the spline if we want to. So for example, I have these four points defined. Now I can right click and have the possibility to close the spline and that will automatically close the loop. Now, with a spline that has been already defined, we can double click on the spline. And we're gonna have the possibility to see this window. So spline definition, we're gonna have all the control points and the selected one will always be displayed in orange. We can also add points after or before if we want to, for example, add point after three and I can click over here and that will position a, a new point. But since this is point three and I want to add another point, I can click like this. So we see that point 12 now will be positioned over here between three and four. And another difference, uh, we see that for point three, we have tangents set to yes and also curvature set to yes. We can adjust those with with this tangency check so that will enable the tangency within that point we can also reverse the tangent but in this case for this plan we're going to see that our sketch will be overlapped like this so i'm going to undo that and we also have the possibility to add that curvature radius for example for point two i will enable tangency so if not for 0.5 and I can also enable the curvature radius that I can also adjust so we're gonna see the curvature radius will be either smaller or larger depending on the value that we add we can also manually input a specific value for example minus 15 if I'm gonna press tab that will automatically be updated and we are still gonna be within the spline definition window. After we change that tangency, we're gonna see that we have this handle that we can drag around in order to control the spline, or we can also select the whole spline and move that. Or if we want to, we can only select a single individual point and with the possibility to rearrange that um, that spline. For example, if I will double click on this point that already has added a tangent, I have the possibility to use the control point definition in order to change the tangency and radius just like for the whole spline. But I can do that directly within the viewport. So this will rotate the tangency as you can see the degree value and if we want to adjust the curvature radius we need to select that arrow and we can increase that curvature or have it lower so these are the aspects regarding um, a spline definition also keep in mind that um, you can always add some dimension values for those points if needed for example like this, I will make the point to be on the same horizontal line with the axis and I can add that numeric, uh, numeric value. So for this distance, I can specify exactly where I want that to start. I can also select that point, the horizontal, add a coincidence and this will position that point directly on the horizontal axis. 
Now, some other aspects uh, regarding spline. Spline within Sketch uh, are, let's say, not that complex, but we have the possibility to go with Connect. So in order to showcase the functionality of the Connect feature, I'm gonna draw some, some splines over here. So something like this, that's the first spline. And I will trace another one on the right side of the screen. Now, I'm going to swap to connect and we're going to see that connect has some more functionality within sketch tools. We are notified that uh, with connect we can select the first element you wish to connect. So in this case I will want to connect this spline. Afterwards select the last element to end the constraint. I will select the other one. And you're going to see that by default we're going to have this spline added between those two points. That was because the sketch tool was set to connect with a spline and also we had the um, continuity in tangency selected. If for example I will swap this to continuity in point, I can then select those two splines and those two will be connected with a line in this case. So regarding the fact that I'm clicking directly on that desired point or that uh, spline, the software will be able to close the, the closest two points of those two splines in this case. For the other settings, we also have the possibility to connect with an arc. So again, I can uh, select the first spline, the second spline, and we're going to see that those two will be connected with, uh, with an arc. So in this case, I can uh, also add a constraint for that arc. For example, maybe I want it to be smaller, something like a radius of um, 50. But keep in mind that we also have these two extension points that it is recommended to have those trimmed if you want to, to work with this sketch forward along. So we can also trim it like this, but um, since there are no um, element, I will go directly with quick trim. So in this case will be this one and that will automatically delete that. And the last point, as soon as I will delete that, I will see that the spline will be reshaped and uh, we're going to have this radius 50 set like that. And now if I will select that, uh, that sketch or this arc and I try to move it, we're going to see that we're going to have that tangency and coincidence added at the end with respect to that uh, 50 radius. Some other settings that uh, are available within, uh, within Connect. So we have this Connect with Arc that we can either select the points and after that we're going to have that connection added. Or we have the possibility to go with Connect um, with a spline I will disable, um, so I want this to be continuity in curvature. So those tangency and curvatures, we have the possibility to customize those over here. And as soon as I click on continuity in curvature, we see that continuity in point has been disabled. So currently the tension is set to one for this. If I'm going to select the upper left point and the upper right point, we're going to see that this new list plan was created. In order to define some other elements like the tension, that one that we had over there, we can double click on the newly defined spline. And we're going to see that uh, the tension value is set here. So if I'm going to go something like half, we're going to see that the curvature will go like that. With one, the curvature was larger. With zero, so we need to add something like 0, 0, 001. We're going to see that the curvature is almost non-existent over here. And we can also go with tangency. And for both curvature 
and tangency we have the possibility to reverse the direction we have those two arrows that we can click but it's important to have a continuity in sketch if those sketches will be used in various features because a sketch that is overlapping like this will not work with um, most of the features within Katia. And the same, so no matter if it's curvature or tangency, we have the possibility to uh, reverse that, uh, that direction. Okay, so this was the video regarding spline definition in uh, Katia sketch, sketch mod module workbench and also for connect that allows us to connect uh, not only two splines, we can also connect other profiles but um, those are the, the available options within those two features. Okay, so see you in the next video.